Okay, so in the last video, we talked about how to check if tables are proportional. This time, we're going to talk about equations, graphs, and word problems, recognizing proportional relationships then. So in equations, it's easy. All of them have a format that's like y equals kx. Now, the k can be any number, including a fraction or a decimal. It could even be something that's smaller than 1. But the variables cannot have powers, okay? The uh, variables cannot be in the denominator, and you cannot have not have anything added to it. But the letters don't have to be X and Y. They can be anything. Like, for example, if you see in the screen, you have Y equals 5X. That's proportional because you have two letters and in a, in a number right next to the letter on the right side of the equal side. So that's it. Proportional. Uh, what about this one? A equals 5 over B. Not proportional because of that B being denominator. So it breaks the rule. Right? How about D equals 1, 5, T? You have two letters on either side of the equation, equal sign. In a number, even if it's a fraction, right next to the letter. So yeah, that works. K is one five, one fifth in this, in this case. How about this one? Y equals five x squared. The reason it's not proportional is because you have that x squared right there. And how about this one? Uh, C equals three point two t plus three. The reason it's not proportional is because it's added this plus three. That doesn't work. And the last one here, W equals zero point twenty five r. That's two letters. On either side of the equal sign with a number, it can be smaller than one. It's a decimal in this case. So there is your K, proportional 0 0.25. So that's it. That's how you can tell that an equa the equation is proportional. It just has to have that kind of Y equals KX format. How about a graph? How can I tell if a graph is proportional? Proportional graphs must be lines which are rising, so a diagonal rising line, that must start at 0, 0. Now, do note that the bigger the K, the steeper the line. So um, so, for example, if you look at this this line here, the red has the biggest K, is a 2, and then the black line is a K of 1, and then the blue line is half, and then the green line is a quarter. So as the K decreases, the line gets less and less steep. But all of these are proportional because they actually are in the, in the actual graph starting from 0, 0 and going diagonally up. So in the practice, there's some crazy lines here, and most of these are wrong because they curve. Or even line E here, for example, that doesn't start at 0, 0, even though it's a straight line. Same problem with line F. It's a straight diagonal line, but it does not start at 0, 0. You could have a straight line diagonal going down like A. That doesn't work because it has to be going up. So then all there's left here is line G. As you can see, it starts at 0, 0 and goes diagonally. And line C also would work. All right? So these will be the only ones which are proportional. Now, if I try to write a graph to see which one is more, uh, the k is bigger than the other, if I had a diagonal line like this, and I'm not going to be able to do a straight line with my hand uh, on this computer, but uh, if I do it something like this versus like that, right, assuming these are straight, um, I don't have a straight line writing tool here. But, of course, the one, actually, I think I have it in the solution. So if you look at the solutions, um, obviously the blue line has a bigger k because the red line is less steep, okay? So, and then the last skill is how to recognize if a word problem is talking about a proportional relationship or not. So, if there's any indication that there's a constant relationship, then it's proportional, right? And also, any indication of a value that starts other than zero, zero, that would also not be proportional. So, for example, look at the example. A game rental company costs $10 membership plus $2 per game. All right? So the problem with that one is that it's not proportional because even though it's $2 per game and that's a constant thing, the fact that it starts at 10 means it doesn't start at 0, 0. So that doesn't work. Height versus age, not proportional because you don't grow at the same rate all the time. So that's not going to be proportional. Uh, proportional relationships will have the same rate all the time. Uh, but if you say the cost per slice of pizza in the cafeteria, well, that's proportional. It doesn't matter how many slices you buy. The price is always the same, right? So if you buy, let's say it's $2 per slice, one slice is $2, two slices is 4 three slices is 6 it's always $2 per slice. So as long as the relationship is constant, you have a proportional relationship in the description. Uh, and so that's pretty much it. I told you how to make sure that graphs are proportional, uh, how to make sure equations are proportional, and how to make sure that word problems are proportional. All right, so we'll continue with skills and proportional relationships on the next video. See you guys then.